I'm Bill Monroe. Senator John McCain indicated he was working to reverse the August 9th decision by the president to deny federal assistance for those affected by the Yarnell Hill fire. McCain stated the criteria on which areas get and don't get federal disaster aid is too subjective, with rural communities like Yarnell getting passed over for more urban areas. A city of Prescott inquiry found no improper promises were made to promote seasonal Granite Mountain hotshots. In a city press release, Division Chief Darrell Willis denied making any promotion promises. City officials also stated they couldn't afford to pay full survivor benefits to the families of the fallen Granite Mountain hotshots. The estimated cost is at least $51 million over 60 years. The city was also advised by legal counsel providing additional benefits would be a violation of the Arizona Constitution's gift clause. House Speaker Andy Tobin and Minority Leader Chad Campbell sent a letter to the president asking him to grant Arizona's request for federal disaster relief for Yarnell. Roxanne Warnicke, whose husband Billy was killed battling the Yarnell Hill fire, sent a letter to Governor Jan Brewer asking for support for Tobin's legislation for fair and equal benefits to the Hotshots families. The Prescott City Council decided no governmental agencies will be exempt under the false alarm ordinance. Private or charter schools weren't included under the governmental agency's exemption. Council ultimately decided to strike that exemption from the ordinance. Scott Freetag was named Chino Valley's new fire chief. Freetag previously held the assistant fire chief position for eight years in St. Charles County, Missouri. He takes over for John Ginn, who retired in January after 30 years with the fire district. First run movie started up in Prescott again. Following the closure of the Frontier Village Tensene in 2009, it was reopened as the Picture Show Entertainment Movie Theater. The theater features electric reclining seats and a beer and wine bar. 56-year-old Prescott Valley resident Gary Wingate was shot and killed after the gun his 54-year-old wife handed him discharged and struck him in the chest. The shooting appears to be accidental, but the Avapai County Medical Examiner will have the final say. And the Prescott Valley Town Council discussed options to deal with false alarm calls. One option would create a civil fine and registration process for those who have false alarms. Police have responded to 1,200 burglary and robbery alarm calls each year for the last decade. I'm Bill Monroe, and that's your KQNA News Week in Review.